Today, I'll be attempting to unlock Red Dead Redemption 2's rarest achievement, which requires me to get 70 gold medals from the game's story missions. This turned out to be one of the most tedious achievements I've ever gone for. Silver, excuse me? For those unaware, a gold medal is unlocked if all the optional objectives in a mission are completed in one go. What makes this achievement awful, however, is that if an objective is failed or you die at all, you can't restart from a checkpoint. No, no, no. That's too easy. Instead, you'll have to restart the entire mission, which ends up adding on quite a bit of time and pain to this journey. But you see, I've been through worse mental torture, so I decided to pursue this achievement anyway. And what better place to start this adventure than the first mission of the game? The objectives here were to take no damage during the shootout, complete the mission with at least 80% accuracy, and to loot six items from the plot of land I was riding towards. Okay, so shoot good, loot good, and uh, become Neo from the Matrix. That's easy enough. All of these things should have been pretty easy. However, there was one somewhat important issue that would make things way harder. I hadn't played the game in four years, and forgot all the controls. It took me a concerning amount of time to learn how to replay the missions in this game, and even longer to figure out that your horse is the one carrying all your weapons. I also completely forgot about the existence of a certain iconic ability that the game is known for, but anyone could make that mistake really. It's not like it would have been incredibly helpful in every mission or anything. Anyway, once I was able to figure out most of the controls, the game eased me in with a scenic horse ride to my objective. This horse ride was over six minutes long. Take note of this because it will be important later. Once I arrived to my destination, it was time to get into position and refresh myself on the game's combat mechanics. Right bumper to take cover. Okay, did not know that button before. See, we're learning, chat. What does peeking do other than like make me... This is a third person game. Why do I need to peek? It just makes it so that I'm just gonna get headshot. But there wasn't time to question anything because soon after the main part of the mission began. This shootout in front of the house would basically determine whether I got the gold medal or not, since this is the only gunfight you'll have in the entire level. My bulletproof strategy was to just hold out behind cover until I was 100% certain I could get a clean shot off. Super simple and super effective, since I managed to hit all my shots without getting hit myself. Two objectives, now done. Although one thing I did notice is that I could only cock my repeater when peeking from cover. This was incredibly unideal for not getting shot, so I tried a few things to see if I could avoid it for next time. Reload instead of cocking it? Ha oh, can you do that? Hold on. Okay. I do that. Oh, you still have to fucking cock it. Yeah, like when I when I zoom back in, why can I not just cock it down here? That's so lame. It didn't seem as though there was anything I could do. So after that, I went into the house, grabbed way more than six things, and approached the final portion of the level, beating a mission. <laughs> oh, <f> <laughs> I thought this was a fucking cowboy game, not a ninja game. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's just watching, bro. This isn't f***ing MMA. You didn't pay pay-per-view, bitch. Help me. Even without Dutch's help, I still managed to beat Hillbilly Hayabusa and finish the mission. Now all that was left was to check out my shiny new gold medal. All right, let's see. Chapter one. It's the reveal chat. Ready? Wait, what? What? Not... Oh no! Wait, I'm a fucking idiot! Uh, when I was testing the fucking shooting and the repeating! <laughs> well, to me, this seems like the perfect time for another one of Snam's pro gamer tips. Today's tip, if you shoot at nothing, it doesn't count as hitting an enemy. So, because of my ever-present stupidity, I had to replay the mission. Starting, of course, with the six-minute horse ride I mentioned earlier. Fortunately, I already had a plan that worked the last time, so all I had to do was do it again. That's not it either. Did I take damage? I took fucking damage! No! I'm so sad. <laughs> All right, chat, it's time to go ride on the horses again for five minutes while doing absolutely nothing. I hope you're as excited as I am. <laughs> okay, so I didn't realize that the cover was semi-destructible, but the third time's got to be the charm though, right? Oh, shit. Not good. Oh, I f***ed up. I missed two and hit how much? Well, at least I didn't screw up the same as last time. 
That actually happened on the fourth attempt. No! God damn it! <laughs> wow. This is not good. This is where the difficulty of the achievement starts to set in. It's not hard in the conventional skill-based sense, but it's more so a test of how much BS you can put up with before you crack. By this point, I was over an hour in without a single gold to my name, and most of this time was spent exiting out of a mission or riding over, meaning 10 minutes would go by before even getting to attempt one of the objectives. I was very lucky to have chat to talk to during these downtimes too. Otherwise, I'd just be fuming all the way back. But again, this achievement is a test of endurance, so I was bound to break through eventually. I didn't get hit, did I? Runner! Hold on, I got you. Okay, okay, no more shooting! No more shooting! <laughs> Can I skip this? There we go. Drum roll, please. Uh, yes! Let's go! No more riding horses! Well, actually, that's not necessarily true. Finally, almost two hours after starting stream, I had gotten myself a gold medal. Just 69 left to go. Thankfully, the second one wasn't too bad. I started with a patented long horse ride to the destination and rescued John with no issue. Yeah, uh, Marston, shut up! <laughs> Not like you're in any danger or anything. Oh. For this mission, my objectives were to have 80% accuracy again and to not take damage. This was made much easier by the fact that wolves do not have the right to bear arms. They only have wolf arms. I ended up getting the gold on my first try, making me think that the first mission was just some unlucky fluke. Well, the third mission put me right back into my place. Focus. I whiffed! Ah, oh, I'm in agony. The optional objective that really screwed me here was the clean kill I needed to get on a deer. To do a clean kill, you have to whistle to get the deer to pop its head up and then headshot it before it runs away. This might have been fine on its own, but I wasn't allowed to spook the deer either, meaning if I messed up the shot even once, I had to reset. Here's how much time I had to react and aim with a controller. Did it spook right then too? It started running away, didn't it? I wasn't ready for it to look over here. And of course, if I restarted the mission, there would be another long horse ride awaiting me before I got to try again. This mission sucked. There are 104 missions in the game and you only need 70 medals for the achievement. So I'd strongly recommend avoiding this one. However, I'd already sunk so much time into this mission and I wasn't about to get beat by a stupid video game deer. So I kept trying and trying until finally we might be good we might be good okay hold on hold on hold on there's a chance <laughs> oh please 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 yes oh we're free <laughs> in total i had gotten three medals in three and a half hours extrapolating the data a bit this achievement would be done in just over 80 hours. Not great. However, the end of chapter 1 showed me that there were actually a lot of really easy gold medals out there. Ones that wouldn't make me want to bash my head against the wall. Such as this mission. All you have to do here is pick up Javier from the side of the road and complete the level with the ample time it gives you. It doesn't mean you don't have to try though. I was whipping these horses so much, I'm pretty sure PETA was first founded because of it. However, compared to the levels I had to do previously, it was a very welcome decrease in difficulty. These easy medals bled into chapter two as well. In this mission, I had to rescue someone's runaway horse, and I also had to find someone within 45 seconds. This person was in the same place every time, so it was just a matter of remembering the door. What's up, idiot? I'm ready. Oh no. Oh, what the hell? This guy's kicking my ass, bitch. Ooh, Luna. Oh, wait, I can have money for the general store now. Oh, how convenient. There were actually a lot of these simple gold medals scattered throughout the chapter, like when you have to take Jack on a fishing trip, and even when you have to go on a shooting spree to rescue another member of the posse. Oh, we're finally, wait a second. We haven't had a mission in which we just have like a nice casual horse ride in the beginning ever since Wednesday. This is nice. Just take it all in, chat. Look at this beautiful scenery. And then look at the rest of the game, right? It's, uh, it's, it's fantastic, genuinely. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows during this part though. 
There was one mission where I had to loot everything inside a house and complete it within a certain time. Did I get everything? I hope I did. Hold on. Let me see. What if it updates? Oh, I did get everything. Oh, good shit. Bless the update system. It was going really well, but in my rush to complete the mission... Okay. It's time to put on the nitrous jet. It cannot afford to waste even a single second. I may have had a bit of an accident. Oh, shit. What? Are you fucking kidding me? I did end up getting the gold eventually, but it wasn't fun having to replay everything. The same thing happened in a later mission that I had to also complete under a certain time. I tried to take the most direct path to beat the time requirement. However, that's uh, fine. Everything's fine. I'm sure, oh, replay, yes. Okay, wait, where'd all the enemies go? <laughs> I'm cool with this, I, are we all cool with this? I'm cool with this. <laughs> so I'm gonna still fuck up, oh, speak of the devil. Oh, I'm actually oh, God. stuck. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I am so sad. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, well, <laughs> this is this is great. You know, love love video games. <laughs> By some miracle, I did end up getting a gold for this level. The worst mission I attempted during this chapter though, was the one where you have to go hunting for a bear. This mission had a bunch of different objectives, but the two most prominent ones were that I had to shoot the bear a certain number of times, and beat the mission in under a certain time as well. When I first started this mission, I kinda skimmed the time requirement, so I didn't know how fast I actually had to do it. But I was gonna go as fast as I could, and hope for the best. Yeah, so the best didn't really happen. The first playthrough of this mission literally took me 25 whole minutes. And when I got to the bear, things didn't exactly fare much better. What? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted a kiss. I guess he did. He was just a little too aggressive about it. Like sometimes you gotta ask for consent. Otherwise that is just like not exactly gonna fly around here. Obviously this wasn't ideal but I hadn't given up on the gold for any of the missions I'd attempted thus far, so I had to try again. I even had chat help me up by giving me their best bear combat tactics. Hit the gritty, confuse the bear. What is with your obsession with the gritty today, Devil? Uh, yeah, I, I guess so, right? Like, um, it's different strategies for each bear from what I remember, right? Like, I think it's uh, brown bears you play dead, black bears you run, and legendary bears you hit the and gritty. I should have remembered the last one, but it's really the first two that are the most well-known. This time, I felt like I was going as fast as I possibly could, and I actually beat the bear. Bow, 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 bow. Whoa, it worked. So when the mission was finally over after 15 minutes, I couldn't wait to see my gold. No, what did I mess up on? I literally played this shit perfectly. 12? Yeah, so I ended up skipping this one. As I'm sure you could probably tell from the last few missions, the time constraints were easily the hardest optional objective a mission could have. They really don't give you any spare time to beat the levels, so you have to play them almost perfectly to have a chance at the gold. Take this mission for example. Retrieve d oh, it's this one. <laughs> oh no, it's this fucking mission. <laughs> Here you have to extort this poor man with tuberculosis for money. Horrible, right? Well, because I had to beat it in under 2 minutes and 10 seconds, I had to beat the shit out of this guy three times before I finally did it fast enough. I'm sorry Chad, I, it has to be done. I have to do it in 2 minutes and 10 seconds. This isn't funny! Is that a bronze? I got a bronze? Oh my god. Alright, well, <laughs> it's round 2. He didn't stay down the first time Chad, I gotta kick his ass again. <laughs> this also came after I got a big raid from a fellow streamer, so I can't say that it left the best first impression on these new viewers. This took a t I know, this is such unfortunate timing! <laughs> Thank you for the subs! I really appreciate it! <gasps> yes! No more fucking being up TB people! <laughs> God! Oh, thank goodness! <laughs> the mission may have finished eventually. But chat never let me live that down. I have to do everything around here. I, oh. oh, the sheep is okay. It's okay. It's okay. The sheep is okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we're not gonna hit the sheep again. <laughs> a 
Unless it has TV. <laughs> Unless it has TV, yeah, then it's getting a pummeling closely. After getting a few more gold medals, the last mission I decided to do for chapter two was this one, where you needed to get 25 headshots. And this was not easy. Ow. From where? Oh. Shit, my accuracy sucks. Let's shoot again? Dude, I need to be more accurate right now. Otherwise, this is gonna be bad. Wait, this is actually kinda hard. Dude, I keep shooting off their hats. What the fuck is this? How does he dodge right then? I lined it up and everything. I don't know, how am I supposed to get 25 headshots? Are you kidding me? Are you high? Things were looking incredibly hopeless for this, and I was honestly thinking whether or not I should skip this one too. But then I remembered why I stream these challenges instead of record them. Do headshots count in dead? You know, that's a fantastic question. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> saying that, because I forgot that dead eye <laughs> <laughs> was even in the game. Uh, that, that, that's that's a good idea. <laughs> it turns out I am a giant idiot, but uh, what else is new? So with this new dead eye power that I found out about, getting the gold in this mission actually was pretty easy. God damn. I really turned on my aimbot today. Holy shit. I don't even need to worry. Moving? Don't care. This guy? Don't give a shit. What about this guy? He looks a little threatening. Nope. Or this guy? Uh, what guy? Right? Like, holy shit! I, I literally can't miss if I f***ing tried! Watch! I'm gonna try and miss. Oh! Oh! Oh shit! Hit again. <laughs> Dude, I got the 25 headshots already? I can just dip! There we go. First gold medal of the stream, chat. Ah, feels good to be good. That's what I gotta say. After chapter two, I felt as though I actually had a great grasp on how to play the game now. And since all the accuracy and headshot challenges were a breeze with Deadeye, I felt pretty optimistic about chapter three. Some missions were as simple as I'd hoped, but there were still some standouts that weren't. For this mission, I had to finish within three minutes and not get spotted by a group of guards. My first ingenious plan was to run all the way to my objective, as spotting me on a horse would be way easier. But it turns out that the waypoint was way farther away than I would thought. So obviously, the next time round, I brought my trusty steed with me. This was around the time I had even more viewers come in, so I had to make sure I didn't embarrass myself like last time. We are more likely to be spotted on horseback. Oh, no longer on horseback. Step one complete. I swear to God, I got a gold medal on this. I just want to move on. This next one should have theoretically been pretty easy since Deadeye could carry me through all the objectives except for one. So all I had to do was be on the lookout for anyone trying to attack Uncle and the medal would be mine. So I fought off a bandit ambush, but Uncle was untouched. I held out against waves of enemies in the stable, but again, None of the enemies were attacking Uncle. I met Rob the wagon. Rob would never hurt a fly, so I didn't assume anything was gonna happen here. And then, where's the overpowered Uncle thing? Wh what? Hello? Wait, when was I supposed to do that? I genuinely had no idea what had happened. There wasn't a single instance in which Uncle was attacked, so of course, I had to replay the mission. At least we get to see Rob Wagon again. That's true. It's, it's really the small victories that's what matters here, chat. Because if we focused on the entire thing, I would be having a miserable time. <laughs> but in my next run through, nothing happened again. I was incredibly confused with what was going on here. But as it turns out, I was suffering from my own success. There are these two enemies near the end of the mission that you and Uncle need to stealth kill. And during your stealth kill animation, Uncle gets overpowered. Previously, I had just been quickly shooting both of these guys in the head when I got to them. So I was actually losing because I was being too efficient. And honestly, at least my failures were trending in the right direction. So I wasn't too mad about this. The rest of the medals I got in chapter three only took one or two tries. Some were pretty chill, like when you have to go riding with Lenny. What's the horsepower of the wagon? Um, uh, two, I think. Some were annoying. Good. Hey, where are you going? You mean where am I going? I'm. I'm. Can you not walk the extra five steps, old man? And some were straight up chaos. What the? F <laughs> oh, Lee. Gosh. Born in the wrong generation, holy, that guy could have been a linebacker for the fucking Baltimore Ravens. But in the end, I got all the golds I was looking for. So with chapter three behind us, it was now time for the epilogue.
And there's a good reason why we're detouring here. Oh, my horse bondage, a bonding uh, increase. Wait, no, not because of that. It turns out there's a possible glitch with this achievement in which gold medals from epilogue missions won't count towards your gold medal total. And the only way to fix it is to then get another gold medal from the main story. Obviously, I didn't want to deal with that. So to avoid it, I decided to take down a large amount of gold medals here before moving back to the main game. And boy, did I do exactly that. You see, many people know about the California Gold Rush of 1849, but very few talk about the Texan Gold Rush of 1899, where John Marston stumbled upon a gold medal fortune. The optional objectives in the epilogue were definitely easier on average compared to the rest of the game, but the main reason why I was able to get so many so fast is that these missions were way shorter than most of the ones in the main game. Take the mission that's been playing in the background for example. Here you have to complete the mission in under two and a half minutes, and oh, oh, I'm already done! All I had to do was ride on horseback to this shack. And I would just like to remind everyone that the first three missions of this game took me three and a half hours, in case you forgot. And even the less forgiving missions were a lot less tedious to complete. Here, I had to build a fence in a minute and a half and lasso a bull without getting hit. This obviously went as well as you'd expect. I am a little bit of a bull whisperer, actually, Chad. That's a little known fact about me. Come on, move. Oh, don't do that! <laughs> Use your lasso to catch the bull, F it, I'm down. No, my, f I just made that! No, please, 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 I'm not allowed to get hit by you for an achievement. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, I don't, now I need to not get hit somehow. All right. <laughs> Damn it. Bro, what do I do? Are you kidding me? All right, as long as I don't get hit by the bull though, right? Really. Got his ass. Bitch. Come here. All right, not. No! All right, well, <laughs> I tried my best. <laughs> well, we'll get him next time, chat. <laughs> yeah. The bull part really wasn't doing my gold medal run any favors here. Okay, let's see. Back to progress, of which we have none so far. <laughs> but here's the thing. When I restarted the mission, I was already back at my first objective, and I would be on to my second almost immediately after. No hour-long horse ride to the location, no more not knowing whether I completed an objective or not. Just me grinding away at a simple objective until I finally persevered. Oh, okay, there we go. These medals were awesome. And even if it messed something up, see you later, dear. Wait, what? What? I wouldn't be all that upset to do it over again. Honestly, if I had to choose a downside of the epilogue, it wasn't even metal related. It was just Jack. The kid was pouty after I smoked him during a race, so we started taking his anger out on people. Uh... What the Jack, what are you doing? <laughs> it was truly awful to witness. I wonder who he possibly could have learned it from. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Tuberculosis, you know? But at the end of the epilogue part one, I beat up these guys, I shot these guys, and it was on to the epilogue part two. You would think this might follow in the same path as the non-stressful epilogue part one medals, and you'd be wrong. To be fair, some of it was less the fault of the objectives and more so the fault of the game itself. In this mission, I had to headshot five enemies with a bow. Here's how that went. That's gotta be a headshot though, surely, right? I missed? Shit. There we go. All right, well that's three headshots. Okay, I'm pretty I sure I have four headshots right now. I shouldn't have five. Yeah, they're nowhere to be seen. Okay, hold on. That was a headshot though, right? Surely. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is the bow, right? Surely I'm not using a different weapon. Okay, headshot, bow, right? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Headshot, right? Headshot, surely. Headshot, surely! <laughs> How am I, okay, do I have to like go up like right up next to them or something? Okay, that was definitely a headshot, right? We all saw it go into this man's head. This guy is literally right next to me. What about this guy? Oh! And that also very much looks like this in the head, right? 
How? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm losing it. There's no way. Fortunately, this was the only mission that was bugged for me. But the mission after this one was just straight up hard. I had to hunt down a bounty target, defend myself from a bear, fight off other bounty hunters, and drop off the target in jail, all in 7 minutes and 15 seconds. This isn't easy to begin with, but everything that could have possibly slowed me down, well, did. Oh, oh he's a friend! Oh, he's not a friend. <laughs> okay, he's so definitely, definitely not a friend. Ah! <laughs> I'm being eaten! Okay. Nice. Good. Sure, surely this is under 7 minutes and 15 seconds now, right, chat? <laughs> There's no way I could have possibly been faster. So if I get a silver medal again, I'm going to cry. Live on stream. I'll bring it to you. Wait. Ow! What? <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Ow, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, you're fucking joking. <laughs> you're the one who ran into me! <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna lose because of this. I'm gonna lose because of this. You think about if this is what you really want. Disturbing the peace. You're disturbing my peace! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, fuck this game. <laughs> Who's this up here? I don't know. Don't care. <laughs> I gotta be the mission in seven minutes and 15 seconds, boys. I'm sorry. No time for talking. Yes! Woo! Let's f***ing go! <laughs> Thankfully, part two did have some easier missions to go along with these bad ones. Like the one where I had to take Abigail on a date. I'm sure of this because I managed to take every wrong turn and still somehow got under part time. After that, I beat the final mission of the epilogue, which I won't go into because, you know, spoilers, and began chapter 4, knowing I wouldn't have to worry about any medals glitching anymore. Chapter 4 was a bit of a mixed bag. It had some of the easiest missions in the game that, you know, I still messed up on. You alright? Oh, I'll live. You'll live, you say? <laughs> Not on my watch, idiot. Oh no, it fails the mission! <laughs> but it also had one of the toughest golds I attempted for the achievement. In this mission, I would need to dress up and infiltrate a high-end gambling fairy. Most of the objectives weren't hard, but the one where you had to escape the fairy in 35 seconds was a nightmare, which is why this mission in particular probably took the most tries out of any mission I attempted during the achievement. Come on, let's get the hell out of here! No, leave! What? Oh, do I have to go under? Oh, uh, I'm trying. I didn't know I had to go this way. Get out of the way, Javier. <laughs> I know it's a silver. Fuck. No, don't do the slow mo. That's not gonna help me. Okay, move, 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 move. Stop slowing down the game. Damn it. Go, 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 go. All right. Well, I had absolutely no idea if that actually worked or not. Shit. The constant barrage of silver medals and mission failures was pretty disheartening, but in my heart, I knew I needed to give it at least one more try. Oh, that's okay. Go, go, go! <laughs> what? All right, well, I hope that was 35 seconds. That seems pretty good. But the question is, did we actually do it? Yes, we did, baby! Let's go! Oh, I'm so pumped. Holy shit, that took forever. After this substantial victory, I ended up getting a fair amount of gold medals this chapter. And then I moved on to chapter 5. The island portion of chapter 5 is a hellscape. Almost as bad as Kaled from Elden Ring or Ohio, generally speaking. Gold medals in the island portion of this chapter will not come easily. In fact, they might somehow be rarer than Laker wins this season. I got one breaking out of a chain gang, but that's it for the entire first half. All the other missions in the first half were incredibly long and just kept resulting in failure. Or that's what I would say if I didn't pull off this amazing feat when I needed to rescue Javier in just over two minutes. I don't know what's happening. Oh, well, that's a shame. <laughs> it was going very well until they shot the shit out of uh, Javier. 
because what I meant to say was that these missions kept resulting in absolutely embarrassing failure. Thankfully, the second half of the chapter was another gold mine, so I managed to rack up a few more medals even when the mission attempts weren't the cleanest. I want to fucking kill myself. <laughs> Why? Why would my horse do this? I don't think I did it. I think that first fuck up fucked me. <laughs> Somehow, things were beginning to go really well again, and all I needed now were five more gold medals from chapter six, and the achievement would be mine. To say I started this off on a good note would be an understatement. The medal I started with in chapter six was surprisingly the easiest one in the game. It was a time constraint mission, but one that was somehow short and gave you plenty of time to beat it. Yeah, that's what you get. Itch. Wait, did I get it though? Oh, oh. <laughs> that was really easy. Let's go. Wait, I want more of those missions. What the hell? One medal down, four to go. This next mission wasn't as kind to me. It's another time constraint mission where you have to beat it in seven minutes and 30 seconds. And there are more obstacles to get in your way this time. For one, there were these two idiots trying to smash their cousin. I had to fight them off, but two on one fist fights surprisingly don't favor the solo combatant. Oh, oh, ow, ow, <laughs> ow, ow. I don't know how to fight in this video game, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, push him. Can you fucking piss off? Ow, this is not fair. Please. There we okay, that's one. Ow. Oh, bitch. Ooh, choke your ass. Oh, yeah, nah, nah, not so strong now, huh? I also had to take control of this train and gun it to the finish line, but only after I fought off every single one of my pursuers in this hilly terrain. This one took a few tries. Silver! God damn it. But the second of five medals I needed was soon in my grasp. Oh, wait, I didn't even realize I was gonna get it! This third mission is back to a really easy one. No time constraints, no silly mini objective, just hit your shots and the gold is yours. Oh, wait, that's easy as shit. Wait, this chat. What the hell? This one's super easy. Wh what? <laughs> huh? Spotted by what? <laughs> or wait, okay. Maybe there is some challenge to this one. Dude, who the hell? Do they have a fucking UAV? Are you kidding me? Hello? All right, well. <laughs> Once I developed some stealth skills though, the gold medal was mine. Nice, that's three, baby! Three out of five, done. To be honest, I don't know why I chose this next mission to do. The time constraint was rough. Oh, do I need, ah, damn it! I went the wrong way. That's okay, Dutch needed to catch up anyway. Hopium. But the headshot kills you had to get on the mounted enemies was even more rough because there were only a limited amount of them in the level. Why are none of these enemies mounted? <laughs> Brother, if, if it comes down to it, I'm gonna have to mount them myself. Holy moly. After a few attempts, I got to the last part of the mission. Once we stopped being pursued by enemies, I checked my logbook only to see that I hadn't checked off the objective for mounted headshots. I didn't get the thing already, right? I didn't headshot three of them yet? Oh, Wait, I thought I did. I was certain I'd failed the mission and have to restart. But once the mission was over... Hey! <laughs> what the f*** was that? Oh, I almost had a heart attack. It turned out I only had one more gold medal left to go. I was now at 69 gold medals. And as much as my chat and I wanted to stay at the funny number, what we wanted more was to see this through to the end. Since this was the last gold medal in the game, we all saw it fitting to get it from the final mission of the main story. I'll avoid any spoilers here as well, because this really is a game you should experience for yourself if you haven't already. Side note, I thought it would be really funny if I just blurred the rest of the video because I mentioned spoilers, but I'll be boring and just tactically cut the clip so you can see what happens. This mission was definitely on the harder side, and the reason for that was the objective to go from the lighthouse to the end of the pier in under a minute. There's a whole swarm of enemies shooting at you, so if you just make a run for it, you'll probably die. But if you take your time killing everything, you won't get there in time. I could have switched to a different mission once I realized how hard this might be, but instead, my stubbornness made me push on to the end. Okay, you know what? I'm literally just gonna ignore the f*** out of these guys and just immediately run towards wherever this is. Oh, this is so cringe! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm like Neo in the Matrix, except I'm still getting hit by the bullets. Please shoot him faster. There we go, perfect. Oh, I have no health. I have no health, I have no health. Kick the door! What are you doing? Thank you. 
Oh, that's unideal. Okay, that's a bit more ideal, actually. Uh, hopefully that was a minute. <laughs> that seemed pretty fast, at least. Oh, hey, wait, my health is all back. All right, I'll fucking take it. Oh, let's go. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Chat, 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 chat. Nobody panic, but we're on pace. We're on good pace to actually beat the mission with a gold. The rest of the mission is very spoiler heavy, obviously. But once those ending cutscenes stopped playing, yeah, this was the wisest idea. Oh, let's go! We did it! Give me that. Let, let me see the gold, too. Oh, that's some good shit. So, as someone who's persevered and gotten this 0 .04 unlock rate achievement, I can safely tell you that this one ain't worth it. <laughs> this achievement alone took me 33 hours to do, and most of it probably would have been a really annoying experience had I not had a bunch of goofballs in my Twitch chat keeping me company when I failed. That isn't to say that you'll have the same experience though. If any of the trials I went through in this game look fun to you, then feel free to give it a shot. The fun and achievement hunting is very much subjective. I mean, I'm literally the guy who said the mode where you die in one hit from the evil within was one of the most fun achievements I've ever gone for. Speaking of which, if that sounds interesting to you, you can watch the video I made of it here. I also stream all of these hard achievement and challenge attempts on Twitch, so if you want to catch me live and say hello, make sure to follow over there as well. With that, I shall see you all in the next video.